Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Welcome, Mr. Administrator. Good to see you again. Uh, I am sure that uh, you will not be surprised that I am going to start by saying I'm extremely disappointed by the EPA's Clean Power Plan 2.0 and other rules in the so-called EGU strategy that were announced last Thursday. I'll discuss these more in detail because you're coming in front of our EPW committee uh, and we can uh, dig deeper into that and, and discuss those rules. So turning to another issue, would you agree that the EPA's offer uh, excuse me, Office of Inspector General plays an important role in conducting independent third-party auditing and oversight of the agency's programs. Yes, I would agree. And would you uh, also agree that the IG's work helps to ensure that the agency's programs are responsibly and effectively implemented and waste, fraud, and abuse is minimized? Yes. Well, we agree on the important role of the EPA's Inspector General. I think it's especially important when it comes to the oversight of the IRA, which was passed with Democrats only voting for it. The IRA appropriated more than $41 billion to the EPA and established many new programs that required the agency staff to conduct activities that are outside their traditional roles. One example is the Greenhouse Gas Reduction Fund, commonly referred to as the Green Bank Provision, which I understand is $20 billion that you've just announced is going to eight entities. Mm -hmm. It's $20 billion going to eight entities. Democrats provided $27 billion for the entire program. The Inspector General has testified before the House, the EPA expect Inspector General, that the Green Bank and other new IRA programs carry a heightened risk of waste, fraud, and abuse. So of note, however, the IRA provided not one dollar of additional funding for an EPA inspector general to independently oversee this $27 billion. By contrast, the inspector generals of other agencies did get IRA funding. For example, the uh, DOE got $20 million to help oversee their funding. It's deeply concerning to me that we are now entering the second year since the IRA became law, and the EPA Inspector General still has not received any additional dedicated funding to audit more than $40 billion in your EPA programs. So do you support the EPA Inspector General being provided with additional funding to perform audits and reviews of the IRA programs? Uh, actually, I, I do, and in our budget, we we are requesting those reasons. Why was that not included in the IRA? Um, I'm not a member of Congress. Uh, it's a law that passed that I am responsible for implementing, and so what I would say is I would like to operate in a very transparent way. Um, I've had a number of conversations. I meet with my IG routinely. We have a good partnership. Uh, he has indicated that it would be in both interests to have more oversight. And so in that spirit of partnership at EPA, we have requested to Congress through the budget, through the president's budget, uh, that the Inspector General's office receive adequate funding so that we could continue that strong partnership. How much did you ask for in that? Uh, we've requested 79.2 million in total. I think the current is 54.6 million. Okay, so that's additional, what, like 25 or something like that? Am I, am I hearing that correctly? Yes, 45% increase. Yeah, yeah. So how do, you, how, do you, how do you say that you're going to finalize these agreements of $20 billion to eight different entities, and when are you finalizing those agreements? In September? Well, we had a very competitive process. Um, we've selected those eight recipients, which I think... Um, I don't want to speak for the IG or anyone else, but we chose eight applicants that have demonstrated expertise from an oversight standpoint. That's uh, much better than choosing 30 or 40 applicants that don't have quite the same level of expertise. And by the way, these eight recipients are distributing the resources. So these are not, this is not $20 billion going to eight entities for their usage. Uh, they are Which that makes it even harder to oversee, I think. I'm not, I'm not advocating that they are the ones that spend it, but yeah. it seems to me if you're going to have 300 different entities, uh, you know, the, being the recipients of this with eight age entities uh, putting this money out, I, I don't see how you're going to keep track of this. I mean, I, I just think it's, uh, it's so ripe for 
waste, fraud, and abuse, uh, 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 subjective kinds of, uh, of deploying of the dollars, and that it very much concerns me. I think the design of the program, and I'm very proud of the way we've designed this program. We have the metrics, we have the guardrails, we have carefully selected these eight individuals. Uh, they are accountable to us. Uh, I think we have a ton of oversight mechanisms built in. Um, but listen, some might consider me not as objective, which is why we are asking for the resources in the president's budget to ensure that our inspector general feels comfortable with the actions that we're taking. Well, I'll end there on that. I would say it's just amazing to me that the authors of the IRA wouldn't want to be more accountable to the, uh, to the dollars that were being spent, billions of dollars being spent in a whole new program. It wouldn't have included that in their initial uh, proposal. Thank you.